On November 25th, Prime Minister Narendra Modi successfully completed a sortie in the Made in India Tejas aircraft. PM Modi became the first ever Indian Prime Minister to fly in an Indian made fighter aircraft. This was a significant endorsement of our country's defense manufacturing capabilities. By flying over Bengaluru for 30 minutes, Prime Minister Modi showed his faith in the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's ability to develop and manufacture a made in India fighter jet. But why is the Tejas aircraft such a big deal? The Tejas is the result of India's decades long effort to build a frontline fighter aircraft. The story begins in 1983 when India rolled out the project to build a new light combat aircraft to replace the Russian MiG 21s. The MiG-21 aircraft had been the mainstay of the Indian Air Force since 1963 but were becoming obsolete, approaching the end of their service lives by the early 1990s. And so the plan was to release the first Indian-made light combat aircraft by 1994. However, after several years, the first prototype of the LCA flew only in 2001. 18 years after the project started. It was then that Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee named the aircraft as Tejas. The first version of the aircraft was inducted into the Indian Air Force in 2016. Currently, two IAF squadrons are fully operational with LCA Tejas. LCA Tejas is a supersonic aircraft designed to fulfill various combat roles, including ground attacks, offensive air operations against enemy aircraft, and executing maritime missions on the seas. But this project began in the 1980s, so what caused decades of delay in India's fighter jet project? In the 1970s and the 80s, especially after the 1974 Pokhran nuclear tests, India was caught in a terrible environment of technology denial. The West, particularly the USA, denied India access to any sensitive technology. Moreover, the US imposed sanctions after India conducted the nuclear tests in May 1998. For years, under Congress's misguided policies at home and abroad, India had simply failed to develop a domestic defense manufacturing industry. Bureaucratic lethargy, red tape, lack of funds and other socialist malaise also affected India's government-owned defense manufacturers who were crucial in the development of the fighter jet. So when India was isolated by the West, the political establishment had failed to properly insulate India's defense program from the US-sponsored sanctions. Today, the Tejas aircraft is part of a general IAF fleet modernization program. Under the Modi government, orders worth more than 36,000 crore rupees for the Tejas aircraft have been placed with HAL. The delivery of these Tejas aircraft is scheduled to begin by February 2024. More than 9,000 crore rupees have been sanctioned for the development of Tejas Mark II, an updated and more lethal version. When PM Modi visited the US in June 2023, he successfully negotiated a deal for the transfer of technology for manufacturing of the GE fighter jet engine right here in India. The aircraft will give a big boost to the domestic aviation industry since it involves extensive cooperation between the private industry and the HAL. Hundreds of Indian companies including MSMEs are involved in manufacturing aircraft parts and are integral to HAL's supply chain for the manufacture of this Indian-made fighter jet. India's scientists and engineers have crossed several roadblocks, even political hurdles, to turn the dream of an Indian-made aircraft into reality. The Made in India Tejas aircraft is not only a step towards achieving the dream of an Atmanirbhar defense sector and Atmanirbhar Bharat, but is also crucial for India's strategic independence on the global geopolitical stage.